So what I'd like to go over with you guys, first of all, is just to kind of go back down a little bit memory, memory lane. And what we're going to be able to do is determine what we have is the area of a figure. So the first figure that we're going to go over is the lovely rectangle. Now remember, a rectangle can also be represented um, as a square, right, to be able to find the area. So what we remember, when we're trying to find an area, what we're trying to find is the amount of space that is inside of the figure. So we'll represent the area with this large capital letter, area. And does anybody want to raise their hand and see if they remember the area for a rectangle or square? Yes, Nick? Length times width. Length times width, right? Um, very good. That was one way that you've used it, and that's a way that has been very helpful. We're actually going to use a different labeling than length times width, but length times width is perfectly fine. But I'm actually going to do something different. Is it? Never mind. Basically. Why don't you try it? Uh, base okay. times times uh, cars. Base times height. Base times height. Oh. It's the same thing as length it's times width. Times. <laughs> However, what we're, the reason why we're going to use base and height is because it's going to apply to other figures that we're going to be talking about. So yes, in this rectangle, the area equals base times height. Now it's going to become very very important to make sure that we understand what is the base and what is the height. All right. Now. The base, if you think of a base, I always like to think of a base, think of a lamp, right? A lamp sits on a flat surface, right? That is what we call the base of the lamp. Would you guys agree? Yes, sir. You wouldn't put the lamp upside down. You wouldn't lay it on its side. You lay the lamp on its solid base. So we're going to have rectangles that are going to be in all different types of shapes, sizes, and angles. But you want to, when you're looking at the base, the base is going to be the flat area, Jake, the flat area that it's going to lay on. So we can call this the base. And then more importantly, the height. And what we, this is going to make more importantly when we get into diagonals. But um, Alex, if you're going to measure the height of me, where would you measure the height from? Feet. My feet to my, to my head, right? Straight line, bottom to top. You wouldn't measure my height from the edge of that door to my head, would you? No, sir. No, that's totally that's like totally different distance. You go straight down, straight up, right? We'll talk more about that later. So, there's the base, there's the height. Multiply them, find the area. Rectangle and your square. Make sense? Yes, sir. Any preguntas? Ninguno. Pretty easy. You guys want to do some example problems? Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs>